When it comes to IT security, the first thing we talk about is backups. Because if something nasty happens to your computer or the computer's stolen, that's what will help get your data back. The second thing is about security software to prevent nasty things happening in the first place. Now, after tested, trying and testing many products, we have found one that goes beyond any other product that we've used to date, which we will show you in the second part of this video. But to just give you a quick summary, this product will detect the issue, attempt to fix the issue, alert you of the issue, and isolate your computer so that it doesn't spread something nasty to other computers in your home network or your business network. So stay tuned for part two. When it comes to IT security, we talk about antivirus, firewall, and keeping your computer up to date. One other area is that we'd like to talk about is backups. In this, today's video, we're going to talk about antivirus products as well as firewall products um, and there is the ability to have them separately there is and there is the ability to have them together now in the last few months we've been trialing out a number of applications from different providers and what we found was a product that surpassed even our requirements in how well it works. So to give some background to this, when we encounter a computer or server that's infected with some nasty software, what happens is that nobody knows that it happened or how it happened and when we have to look at it it's found to be to be after another problem has occurred which is a pain because not only are you having to fix an issue but it's an issue that's bigger than expected and in some cases it could affect an entire network and that network could be a business more than a residential home so in our findings we've been utilizing software that alerts us on email when something is found attempts to fix it and even when we don't have access to the computer, we have the ability to isolate the computer from the network and only talk to our security software. Now, on, on such an occasion, we've been trying different software. And whilst trying different software, we left one computer with some software and see what happens um, to the network. Now, when we say see what happens to the network, it, there was no other uh, system up and running at the time. But we wanted to try this harmless application and what we found was the software realized this wasn't good um, so it had doubts about the program and it isolated it even with us not needing to do anything and then we came across some emails that said this computer has been isolated it was more technical than that but to keep it simple and 
looking at the computer, you couldn't access anything um, online. So email failed, internet failed, the lot. The only thing that you could see was in the status of the software, it said the computer's affected. And that it's disconnected from the network. Now, if it was completely disconnected from the network, we wouldn't be able to control it remotely. So when I say control it remotely, clean it without being on the computer. So this software basically locked out everything else apart from us being able to clean the software. So we went into this, the online admin portal said to the computer clean this product scan this product and if all goes well then put it on the network and it was done in um, those kind of stages and as you can see on the screen you can see that there was an infection. We have hidden what the infection was, um, but you can see a couple of months ago, and one of our computers was infected, and as a result, it wasn't able to get onto the network. And the only option you had was to contact support. Um, so in that support option there was a simple case of contacting us via email or telephone and once we had done our bit remotely the computer was clean and we were able to work again with that computer now the good thing about this scenario is compared to previous occasions when we've had different software on a computer is we've had to take the drive out attempt to recover any data and set up the device from scratch um, and somebody might say that's a bit excessive but depending on the issue if as soon as you plug in a USB stick, it would infect that. That infected USB stick gets into another computer, it infects that computer and so on. So the problem gets worse, not better. So completely wiping it and starting over is the way to go. Now, depending on the kind of damage, you you might end up in a situation where you can't even trust that drive. So you might have to isolate it. You might have to even, um, you know, just get that drive wiped completely um, and ignore the data. So hopefully backups are in place when that happens. If they're not, then that's another story altogether. Um, so that's our number one procedure that we will have with all our customers backups just get them in place because no matter what you want to recover your data you know if the system was stolen and you got no backups it doesn't matter what software you got on the computer um, so that is one thing that you also need to look at now the other thing that you need to look at is keeping your computers up to date whether that's the software on the computer whether it's the operating system um, whether it's the service packs or feature updates or whatever you want to call them keep them up to date uh, you shouldn't be in a scenario where you're having to stay back because of one application on your system software needs to be stay up to date um, in order to close any loopholes um, onto the system you know a loophole can be seen as just leaving the front door of your house open 
I'm sorry to say, it, it isn't that big, it is a big deal, um, and that's where firewalls come in. So this product that we'll, you know, we're showing on screen, you know, this is not a paid sponsorship. We're not going to get anything right. it. But because it had an antivirus and a firewall built into it, it allowed us to set policies to restrict the computer from the internet, clean the computer, and being able to use the computer. Now, in a business scenario, this could save us a day or two of work. And we could resolve this in 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That's nothing compared to the outage um, a business has suffers. Uh, and if it's across multiple computers, it's even worse. So, you know, how, you know, alongside backups do have decent antivirus product that acts with firewall in place as well. Uh, and this particular tool, Sentinel-1, uh, does it really well. You know, having used other products, it doesn't, they don't combine everything that this product has that we've found you know other products will say yes we do have this that and the other but how this manages to keep something in quarantine clean it and not and only make it shareable again when it's completely secure um, goes a step above the rest um, and you know this is a product that depending on the country you're in, you know, some products are not found trustworthy. This, at least for Western nations, is seen as trustworthy. There are other products out there which, depending on which country you're in, as I say, are seen as, you can't use that if you want to achieve this certification in your, com in your company. Uh, so, for example, you know, we're cyber, cyber Essentials Plus certified. Now, there is a limit of what products we, we should use, can use, and this is one of those that we can use, and it does a great job. You know, I could name another product that is close, but in the country we're in, it's, it's not seen as secure you know, in another country it would be fine so um, you have to bear that in mind as well when we when we make our decision with these products but if you want to know more about this product um, we'll drop a link in the description to a post on our website um, explaining what this product did in more detail so you can have a look at that and you know, feel free to uh, drop any comments below if you find this useful. Um, subscribe to our channel if you find the content useful. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Welcome back to the last part of this video. We hope you found this video useful. If so, please give us a like and subscribe for more content from the team so we can help yourself and others bring relevant videos in future. If you have any questions about the information you saw today, please drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.